Hi! Welcome back to my channel. I've started off with a moisturized face and primer. I've used a little bit of my blush to color correct underneath my eyes. Now I'm taking my two uh, Fit Me foundations from Maybelline and these are the matte finish and I'm blending them together and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just going to apply this directly to my face. This is a really nice flat dense brush so it's easy to apply and get everything on in one application. Now I'm taking my True Match Mineral Powder and I'm just going to set my neck so it doesn't crease whilst I'm doing the rest of my makeup. Now for my NYX Conceal, Correct and Contour Palette. I'm going to use the yellow in this palette to conceal underneath my eyes just to brighten them up a bit. I'm starting off by using long strokes to um, apply the product to my face and then I'm taking the brush and patting around the edges to blend them out. I'm also going to take some of that onto my chin. I'm just going to pat around the edges so it blends out. The center of my forehead and I'm also going to bring that down the center of my nose. I'm going back into that palette and I'm going to be using this dark brown with a beauty blender and I'm applying my contour to just my cheeks. I'm going to contour everything else with powder. And I'm just using patting motions to apply this to my face. Make sure you blend those lines and edges until they disappear. So now I'm just going back with a brush and then patting anywhere that I think needs to be blended a little bit more evenly. I'm also dragging a little bit of that lighter color to my lips. Now I'm going in with my BH Contour and Blush 2 palette and I'm using my Eco Tools powder brush to conceal underneath my eyes with a yellow powder in this palette. I'm just using patting motions. You don't want to swipe it or else you're going to lift the product that you have on your face and it's not going to set evenly. So I'm applying this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, above my lip, some on my chin, and a little bit underneath where I've contoured on my cheeks. Alrighty, and I'm just going to go over my eyes a little bit too. Now I'm going back in with that mineral powder and I'm just going to blend the edges of where I added this highlight powder just so it's a smoother transition for my contouring powder. This is my skin tone. Um, it's in soft sable um, so it will just help blend everything more evenly. And now I'm taking my contouring brush from Real Techniques and I'm using my CoverGirl Natural Hue Bronzer in Ebony and I'm using this to contour around my forehead, my cheekbones, and also along my jawline. I think I dropped a brush on the floor. Alright, now I'm going in with my eyebrow comb, just brushing those hairs upwards so when I place my cream eyeliner I can get that in the right direction so here's my angle brush and I'm using elf's cream eyeliner in the shade coffee and I'm just gonna apply this to my eyebrows I have a full-length video on how I do my eyebrows I'll leave it in the description bar so that you 
you can learn how I do my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to repeat that step on the other side. Just filling those bad boys in. Just making sure they're both symmetrical. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my Great Lash Clear Mascara from Maybelline. And I'm just going to use this to set my eyebrows and to bring back some of its natural sheen. Alright, now I'm using my Blush and Pinker Bell from Catrice. And I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks just to bring a little more color into my face. I'm also going to apply a little bit to the tip of my nose. Alright, now I'm using my Profusion Beauty Adventure Palette. It's 36 colors, and I'm going to be using this nice caramel color as a transition color for all of my eyeshadows. It's really nice to use um, as a base, so when I do apply other shadows, they're going to blend very evenly. Okay, now I'm going in with this nice gold from the palette and I'm applying this on my entire eyelid and I'm stopping right, just right underneath my eyelid or my eyebrow bone. And now I'm going to take this dark brown and I'm going to create a shadow on the outside corner of my eyes. And I'm going to take a darker brown, it's almost black, and focus this on the outer V of my eyes, just to add a little more depth. I'm also going to be bringing that on the outer corner of my lower lash line. This is my high definition liquid liner from NYX, and I'm just using this to create a wing eye, winged eye line. I don't have a tutorial for how to do winged liner, but I will have that coming up very soon. Now I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I'm just going to apply this to my lower and top lashes. Okay, this is my favorite thing, like my favorite new thing. Um, it's a matte lipstick from Marquesia, and it is in Black Honey. And now I'm just going to take my e.l.f. setting spray and set all of this. And just let it dry a little bit, you know. And there you go. This is the completed look. I hope you liked my tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!